Let's see the round there. Ronaldo, let's go. Oh, Ronaldo is through. Ronaldo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. how's it going, guys? My name is Alex. Good evening. And uh, welcome to a review of Chabi Alonso, the quick counter manager that I instantly purchased from the manager pack. I explained the differences and explained the influence of 88 proficiency on your team. So it's not necessarily opening different. Uh, avenues for the attacks the uh, manager will act as any other quick counter manager the only benefit that it is boosting your players overall but most importantly it is boosting the stats that are starting from 85 by three points as opposed to the other managers which are boosting the stats by three points which are starting from 88 the threshold is a little bit higher so for instance if you can see the dribbling on this Cristiano Ronaldo is 85 with the manager it is not 87 but 88 this is why you're getting 88 proficiency managers when we talk about the possession obviously you can get uh, DGP's pep and uh, get the same effect but uh, with the quick counter I wanted to test this play cell for a long time and uh, it is time of course uh, to play a few games yeah, let's use Messi and Cristiano, how about that? Yeah, let's see the movement of the players there. It's just like a regular quick counter though, so... You don't get to play like... Short passes, but... Long through balls are exactly seated well. Besides, I have like defensive fullbacks currently, so... Not a lot of options on the flanks for me. Vieira, I gave him weighted pass, so the passes should be better too, no? Well, look at the... the my, uh, my opponent plays some uh, weird uh, formation, so... Yeah, nice deep in shot as well. So it's gonna be a walk in the park for me in the middle there. Again, Van de Van positioning is perfect here. And you get additional boost for Van de Van if you're using a manager that has proficiency 88. So make sure you're checking the stats there. Let's see the round there. Ronaldo, let's go. Oh, Ronaldo is through. Ronaldo. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Golden goal rule, man. Savasov Abiyane to I mean, it would have been a little bit scuffed, but still worked. Chabi Alonso. A win, we had a lot of possession. And then I needed to get into Division 2 at least to claim the rewards. And uh, I did a quick sash yesterday in the evening. And I played like five to seven games with Quick Hunter. And I kind of enjoyed it. So I know what I'm expecting from my players pretty much. But uh, this Chabi Alonso is better just because the proficiency is higher. So he's improving, boosting the... Um, boosting the actual stats. Not the overall, but the stats. And uh, we get to use... Let's see opponent's team and see if we need to... He uses Zinchin command. That's my respect. Cancelo covering that pretty much, please. Thank you. That's why I gave Cancelo additional like interception of Felix skills. And trained him to be a little bit better defensively. Look at Vieira, man. Okay, Modric covered that pretty perfectly. Let's control the ball, though. Let's switch it to another flank. Uh, kind of like out wide, no? <laughs> it's still a uh, quick counter, guys. Don't worry. Not there, bro. Okay, at least it worked. Okay, Rodri or Petit. Who is faster, man? I have a... Oh. 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 That's a nice attack, no? That's a nice attack. Opponents try to aggro pressure you, and with quick counter, you're supposed to be doing the same thing. But he was running there with Rodri, so I was thinking, like, she should be catching up with me. I turned a little bit. And then Vieira has the weighted pass, has the through pass. Maybe not pinpoint crossing though, so I don't know. Maybe I was lucky there with cross, but it's still um, we were in control of the game, pretty much. In my opinion. So the events are fun. That's one. Okay, nice. Let's go. Let's go. And finish this one. Okay. Uh, finish that. Okay, pay five. <laughs> yeah. Why are you sliding, man? This so I played with uh, different formations. I played with different teams. As you can see, I tried uh, Chabalonso in the events. And as any quick counter, it relies on uh, through passes. And it is important for you to obviously uh, benefit from the runs. And you can obviously be a little bit more greedy and uh, not pass the ball like I did there. But usually it is nice when you play quick one-two passes and uh, abuse the through passing mechanic. Uh, play uh, like a full bar, full uh, bar through ball and uh, uh, pray for the game to give you an opportunity to um, 
actually receive that ball. You just pop through ball and inch line. That's how you're playing Lombo counter, quick counter, but usually uh, this is also can be done smartly. You can play build up, slow build up, possession, uh, play style build up, but also get used to the fact that you're gonna be conceding a lot because if you can't defend manually, as I'm doing my best here, and uh, yeah, I mean, I was thinking that I'm matching up first defender, second defender, but my opponent abused the kick of reach uh, very well and actually scored a decent goal after as a result of that. It used to the fact that your defensive line is going to be very high. If you were playing long wall counter all these uh, last past few months, you're going to be surprised uh, how many goals you're going to be conceding. Uh, on the other hand, uh, your transitions in attack are going to be uh, probably a little bit easier considering that um, your players, uh, even defenders, are going to be engaged in your attack because defensive line, like I said, is a little bit higher. and. Uh, even with this playstyle, as you can see, I managed to uh, have 60% possession, but uh, get ready to the fact that uh, you will be losing games, right? So if you play once and uh, you want uh, to have uh, keep the sanity of mind, it is recommended to still play it with long ball counter, in my opinion. But when you actually play a team that you can trust, you know you, uh, how your defenders behave. And for that, many people have been asking me whether a combination of center backs, where there's a destroyer, is fine. I would say that you can have as many destroyers as you want in the counter, just because your defensive line already is so high that you're committing to um, really be very aggressive. The gig and pressing is going to be there. But playing, like, look, this is where I'm playing an attacking a fullback who is. In a position, first and foremost, that he has to catch up with the striker. That's a nice curl by the opponent. Unlucky, but he still scores a goal. And that's a comeback uh, from him. So if you want to avoid that, maybe uh, try to play defensive fullbacks, right? So that you don't even need to run with your fullback and catch uh, that player in the first place. But every mistake is going to be punished as it is uh, seen here. 80 second minute, a comeback victory for my opponent. And this Japanese event uh, was modded, of course. But uh, what I want to show you more than anything is the fact that you will see that the runs of every player are triggered. There are no players that are lazy. A lot of stamina is used. And um, yeah, it's just like a, a little bit of a different place. So you can still play a slow build up, build up possession. Some people were saying that this manager is different from Klopp uh, just because there is like some build up is involved. It just in general, Konami has tweaked a little bit uh, quick counter as they always do. Every, th every source, I feel like they make some additional, like some certain tweaks with uh, play styles, with the way your players perform on the pitch, with the way dribbling works. Currently, like dribbling uh, is slightly nerfed, but it's still like you need to adjust, right? Every time you need to adjust, you need to learn what's new there. And uh, I will be keeping you up, of course, as usually. Every Thursday, we test new players, test new managers. And at this time, I feel like Konami gives you two packs. One of one is possession, second is quick counter. Both have 88 proficiency, kind of hinting, right? So that uh, these play styles are now very, very usable. And maybe nerf and low counter a little bit because everyone was playing that. And uh, also playing like a full defensive of a fullback setup which was very difficult to penetrate and then they were like waiting for your mistake and uh, eventually scoring like a quick counter goal but we are concentrating on winning this event's game and seeing okay is it oh look look at this run elite run and if you're not gonna be doing anything i'm gonna be scoring a goal but the elite run this instantly triggered i i'm actually missing that in long ball counter playstyle i didn't I, I was I was using that, but then I switched to possession, and I I mean maybe I needed it, maybe it's just like for lazy players. I feel like I was playing so many passes before waiting for a run to be activated, and I guess yeah, if you're not defending manually against these runs of good players in quick counter, longbow counter playstyle, you're in the mud. Man. Oh, how is that a foul, man? It's just like instantly. Maybe the opponent is not like top tier, but still, it just like it was completely torn apart. That there was like one pass and your split, your defense split, and that's what you get with quick counter. Not necessarily you can do it with any manager, not necessarily with the balloon, Sebastian. Oh, look at this elite run, man. Oh, this like 81 rated player from the events. Does he have a left foot? Yes, he has a left foot. Bravo. I don't know. I know that it's not, but it's just like the movement of the player. That's what I want to pay you to pay the attention to. But then I'm, I'm not really into putting every single pack that can be dropped. No? And that's the approach that yeah, I want to, you to cultivate for yourself as well. Just like choose a player that you like and then open the open the pack that you like. But getting everyone is a bit too much.
Otra vez a sacar Look at the, he's gliding. El resultado parcial es gliding on the pitch, that's insane. Plus, he won the game, but uh, he was helped by the script. But realistically, I don't want to take uh, credit from him. My opponent played well, but uh, if there was better connection, no stickiness. We're playing Greek counter, we get one dike on uh, Luis Aru. That's bad. Let me play on Marquinhos instead then. And um, yeah, other than that, teams look decent. Man. Let's see, opponent's team. Inzaghi, premium Inzaghi, look, that's not a joke, man. And he also bought the Messi pack just to bench Messi. And he has Cruyff, Drogba, and Gr Wilshire. Look, his bench is better than my starting 11, and yet he starts all the blue cards. That's an interesting decision. I wonder if he's gonna be changing that. Excited, man. All the prospects of playing this game. Okay. More pressure, not enough pressure. Let's play like aggressive mentality. One bar aggressive mentality. Okay, no, not like this one. Nice. Vamos a ver cuál de los dos técnicos supo aprovechar mejor el entretiempo para hacer los ajustes necesarios. Esto sigue Messi 0 a 0. Oh, you love to see, you love to see when defenders are doing this. I don't have like uh... So uh, Messi scored a very nice goal. Obviously using players in a condition is just goes without saying that you're gonna be benefiting from their runs even better. Um, because so, like you can play possession and like trigger runs manually but when your player has good offensive awareness this is where uh, their goal push your play style is going to be activated it's going to be making runs whole players box to box players going to be making runs into the box box to box players are also going to be helping you in defense but uh what when it comes down to skills like as you can see the one touch pass and through pass are like the most essential skills for your midfielders and attackers now now you need to equip all of your players if you haven't done it yet with these skills using player view cards probably it's better to use those that have already skills equipped but Messi card has been shining for me as you can see my opponent is attempting to get the ball but if he's making a mistake now look how many players are surrounding like this is 4-4-2 um, I like like 4-2-2 um, two with attacking midfielders and equally I like playing 4-4-2 with right and left midfielders anything works opponent uh, has had enough uh, some divisions games uh, are played with this formation and uh, with this playstyle. It is decent and it is definitely worth your coins. Peace.